Hey guys, um, so I skipped another week <clears throat> and I apologize. And I apologize for the weird lighting, the light bulb above my head went out. So I am sitting here in the dark um, with just my screens and my lighting. And then there's back lighting, obviously, because the rest of the lights still work. Um, and I apologize if my voice is not synced with the video. It, since we changed the hard drive out of my laptop, it seems to be having a problem. Um, I hope it's not a persistent issue. If it is, I may have to switch and not do my videos on my computer, which will suck because it's so convenient and easy. Um, but anyways, if it is not synced for you, I apologize. So anyways, um, today I am 14 weeks and 6 days. I will be 15 weeks tomorrow. Yay! Um, I don't know why I'm so excited to be 15 weeks. 15 weeks just sounds so much further along than 14 weeks. Which sounds weird, I know, because there's only 7 days difference. But, you know, that's just how it happened, um, or it happens to seem to me. I don't know why I said it happened. But anyways, um, there's not really a whole lot of updates for these past two weeks. Um, <clears throat> for symptoms, it's pretty much, I just get tired all the time. Um. Sometimes I can't stand for too long. Um, it's difficult to get upstairs. It's starting to be very uncomfortable to bend over to pick something up off the floor. Um, so I'm going to have to start squatting sometimes soon as my belly keeps growing. Um, yeah, it's it's uncomfortable to sleep. Um, you can never find the perfect spot. And usually, I have again started um, going to my back, which you're not supposed to do, um, because yeah, you can cut off circulation for, to your baby or yourself. Um, but I can't help it; it just happens usually while I'm sleeping. I try to sleep on my sides. Um, I usually can't stay on just my left side. I have to choose. I have to go between the two. So, but I can't help it. Um, it's just so uncomfortable. Um, I do usually have a pillow between my knees to help and sometimes a little bit under uh, my stomach. But it doesn't, it helps some, but not a lot. So anyways, I know it's just going to get worse, so joy. Um, the other thing um, <clears throat> is that people actually know that I'm pregnant now, like family and friends and stuff. Everyone knows. And those that don't know should know by word of mouth from somebody. Because um, what I did is I sent out um, announcements to my parents, my husband's parents, and my grandparents, because my husband doesn't have any grandparents living. So basically anybody that was going to be our baby's grandparent or great-grandparent I sent an <clears throat> announcement to. Once, they, once I heard that some people had received their announcements, I announced on Facebook. So... Yeah, that's how everyone's finding out, either through the announcement that I sent, or through Facebook, or from word of mouth of somebody that read out my Facebook, or um, from somebody that received an announcement. Because I don't like calling people, so I'm not going to get on the phone, just call somebody and say, hey, guess what, I'm pregnant. Yeah, I, I, I'm not that type of person, so, and there's just too many people to call, and I can hardly stand calling a couple people in a day. I just don't like the phone, so. 
That's how I chose to announce my pregnancy, but I'm happy that I got to get it off my chest. I don't have to keep it a secret anymore. Um, basically, I was able to tell everybody the day before I turned 14 weeks, so exactly a week ago. So people have had a week to spread the word. Um, I have received one phone call. <laughs> um, the rest were either congratulations through Facebook or they just never said anything. So, you know, but I will show you an announcement because I have one left that I was going to send to my grandpa, but I don't have his address, and so I had to wait till everyone else got their announcement to ask for his address. So anyways, um, they're pretty simple. Um, the front has my daughter, and the shirt says, I'm not monkeying around, I have a very big secret. Um, and... I just did the one hour Walmart announcement things so they didn't have a lot of templates that I liked so I just picked one but I wanted to have a full picture here but they didn't have anything for that so anyways inside is the back of her t-shirt and it has her name and it says I'm going to be a big sister March 2013 yay and then side is just my estimated due date and that we're not finding out the gender. And on the back, a picture that she was just having some fun and put made with love. So yeah, that was our announcement. So my daughter was quite cute in the, the t-shirt. It was a little big for her, but you know, she'll grow into it. Plus I gotta still wash it a few times. But anywho, my next appointment is Friday, so I'll get to hear the heartbeat again. Um, that's pretty much it. It's just one of those regular appointments. Um, they check your urine for protein levels and sugar and all that good stuff and blood pressure and your weight. Um... I've already gained 10 pounds, which is a ton of weight for this early in pregnancy. I know that now I'm supposed to gain a pound a week, but in, yeah, <laughs> I gained a lot of weight in the first trimester. Um, but I'm going to start doing some Pilates and stuff to get in shape and, um, if you do exercises, you're supposed to have um, shorter labor and um, sometimes a little less painful too. So we'll see if I have short labor if I actually start getting fit <laughs> back in shape. Um, we'll see. And I chose Pilates because it's low impact, so it shouldn't harm the baby or anything. As long as I take it easy and stop when I need to. Um, yeah, there's not really much to update on. I will, from, we don't have it set up yet, but my doctor's office does the ultrasound at 18 weeks, so that would be three weeks from tomorrow. So that's exciting. It'll be my... Next and last time that I get to see baby before birth, which I'm excited and not so much at the same time because I'm excited that I finally get to see my baby, not just it looking like a little bean, a blob, jelly bean, whatever you want to call what it looks like, um, but it will also be the last time I see it for 22 weeks, possibly more, maybe a little less if I go into labor before 40 weeks, but otherwise it will be at least 22 weeks before I get to see my baby again. So that's disappointing, but it is also exciting that I'll finally get to see baby and proof that it's still alive and kicking and nothing to worry about. Um, just have to get through the next 22 weeks after that. So, yeah, I think that is it for now. I will show you belly. Uh, show you belly, show you my belly, um, 
and then I'll go because I almost forgot that. So, yes. Ugh. There's belly. Um, middle of the day today, so it's not empty stomach, but this is usually how it looks when I wake up in the morning. Um, so yeah, just the shirt on. I get kind of jealous with um, some people because they've already started feeling their babies moving. I want to feel it move so that I know that it's still alive. <laughs> um, I know that I shouldn't worry since my pregnancy is still going like it should, but it still worries me. What can you do? Um, so anyways, I will cut it off now and I will talk to you all next week, hopefully skip it or something. <laughs> so anyways, I'll talk to you all next week.